7,000 people in that auditorium jumped up, applauding. I was totally inspired by that man, Dr. King. He talked about, we got to end racist discrimination and all these people in companies around America that won't hire black folks. And all across America, Wonder Bread Company refused to hire any people of color. He says, and we're gonna have to boycott them. And we wanna boycott them so consistently and so profoundly, we wanna make Wonder Bread wonder where the money went. <laughs> I like that, Dr. Mark. I said, a preacher doing that, wow. that, that, that was powerful to me. That's the thing, because back then, the difference was, I, in my opinion, uh, the leadership. Y'all won't consider nonviolent. Martin Luther King was nonviolent. So the fact that you were influenced by him, I, I, I never knew that. When I hear you speak about the Panthers, about how the media sensationalized the guns and, and all of that. Yeah. Y'all were trying to capture the, the imagination of the, of the community, but a lot of people got carried away with that. And the real essence of what y'all was doing was the programs, like the free breakfast. The programs children. get to the issue mm -hmm. and start solving the problem. The concept of the breakfast student program spread beyond the Black, Black Panthers activity. Yeah. That was the power of it. That was the key. That was the key, man. And we said, all power to all the people. Power to the people. Power to the people. Boom, 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 boom. Power to the people, right on. What they got in their hands, the old man say. <laughs> and this big, tall, black guy says, they got guns in their hands, man, be quiet. <laughs> so the police officer was somewhat out in the street a bit. Cops had his hand on his hip. You have no right to observe me. And Huey says, no, California State Supreme Court ruling states that every citizen has a right to stand and observe a police officer carrying out their duty as long as they stand a reasonable distance away. A reasonable distance in that particular ruling was constituted as 8 to 10 feet. I'm standing approximately 20 feet from you, and we'll observe you whether you like it or not. And the tall black dude over there, he says, man, what kind of Negroes is these? Because he had never seen a disciplined group of people standing there with guns, and another one sitting here reciting the law mm -hmm. to the cop. Yeah. There's so many parallels that's going on, and it's the same fight with the police. There's a song on the album called The Charade, mm -hmm. and it specifically speaks to the Oscar Grants and the Trayvon Martins mm -hmm. and the Michael Browns. We did that because ain't nobody talking about nothing. The music that's coming out now, everybody's talking about, you know, how many drugs you sold, or how many bottles of champagne they popping at the club. And ain't nobody talking about no real shit. So I know for a fact that the music back then and that day, it fed, it, it, it fed the movement. We as artists, I really feel like we got responsibility these kids, they paying attention to us. They looking at us. 